other things you want to do is you want to go into your Fire TV stick or your Fire TV and you want to go down to settings. Once you go to settings, you want to go to systems and you want to go down to developer options. And you want to make sure that you turn on ADB debugging and you want to make sure apps from unknown sources is turned on as well. Okay. So make sure both of those tabs are turned on. And then once you do that, guys, in the same systems app, I want you to go to about. All right. And then I want you to go down to networks. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to Write down your IP address. All right, you're going to write that down. And then that's going to be it for the Fire TV right now or the Fire Stick. Now we're going to head over to the computer.
All right, guys, so now you're gonna make your way to your Fire TV or your Fire Stick, and you're gonna scroll down to Settings, okay? Now, you wanna also go over to, but you probably can't see it, but Applications. Now, I have a password code on this, so I'm gonna put my password in All right, let it verify it. And you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna to go to manage installed applications. Xfinity TV Go. All right, you're gonna click on it. And then you're gonna hit launch. All right, guys, so now that you have the Xfinity TV Go app, now all you gotta do is put in your ID, email, and password. Now, one of the problems that you guys are gonna run into is the original remote that comes with your Fire TV or Fire Stick is not going to be able to control the Xfinity TV Go app. Um, you can play around with it until you're blue in the face, but it's not going to work. Now, luckily for me, the BT Bluetooth controller, I did an unboxing, I did a review on this, I synced this to a lot of different um, devices like the Fire TV. I um, linked it up with the uh, Fire Stick. I linked it up with an Android phone. Worked perfectly fine. Not only can you play games with this, but you can also use this as a wireless mouse. So, as you can see, well, you can't see, but on the screen, you can see that I'm moving this around as you would move around a mouse on a computer. All I gotta do is highlight what I want to do. Sorry guys, the battery died. No, what I was saying guys is, you know, once you do that and type in your information, then you're pretty much good to go. You can navigate through the um, interface of the Xfinity TV Go app through your controller. You can flip through different sections. Um, you can also do the same thing if you got a wireless keyboard and mouse. It's all the same, but the only way, again, that's going to work for you guys is if you have um, a special controller that you can use not only to play games, but use as a wireless mouse, or you can use a wireless mouse, or you can use a Bluetooth keyboard with a touchpad, you know, vice versa. Okay, I wanted to add that in really quick, guys. Um, this is the man, 7431, signing out for good this time, guys. Hope this video helped you with everything you needed to know on sideloading the Xfinity TV Go app. This is the man, 7431, signing out, and I will catch you guys on the next one.